A bullet is fired out of a gun from a height of 1.5 meters. It hits the ground 145 meters away. How fast did the gun fire the bullet? Picture of our gun and bullet are up here on the board. We're trying to figure out how fast it's going to come out of the gun, so we do not know the velocity in the x direction, but we know that it lands 145 meters away when it eventually gets to the ground. We know it's 1.5 meters above the ground, so that the displacement in the y direction is going to be 1.5 meters downward. And as always, all projectiles have an acceleration of down negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We can pull some numbers out of our picture and plug them into our X and Y columns. All the X numbers are in black, all the y, y numbers are in green. So we know that we're trying to figure out how fast this thing is going in the X direction. So that's the question mark. We know that it's gonna travel 145 meters to the right. So that's our X displacement. In the Y direction, we know our Y displacement is down, so negative 1.5 meters. It's being fired horizontally, so it's got no initial Y velocity. The acceleration, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. To solve for the velocity here in the X, I would need time, but I don't have it. But I can solve for it in the Y direction and then use it to solve for the thing I really want, which is X velocity. So in the y direction, solving for time, I'm going to pick the equation that does not have vf because that's the thing we don't have and don't want and don't care about. So the equation without vf is d equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. Because v naught is zero, this term goes away. We don't have to worry about it, making our math a little bit easier. D equals one half a t squared. To get rid of the half, I'm gonna multiply by two, so that gives me two D on the left side, and I'm gonna divide by A, and that's gonna get T by itself, but T is squared. We don't want T to be squared, we just want regular T, so to get rid of the squared, I do the square root. Now I'm able to plug in our numbers, plug it into the calculator, and solve. So two times the D, which is negative 1.5 meters, over negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And don't forget your square root. Plugging that in, what we're gonna find is a, a time for the bullet to get to the ground of 0 0.55 seconds. So now in our x direction, we know how long the bullet's going to be in the air, which is 0.55 seconds. Now the question is, how far does it go during that time? I'm sorry, we know how far it goes, 145 meters. How fast is it going to go the 145 meters in 0.55 seconds? That's what we're trying to solve. Again, constant velocity motion in left and right motion for projectile motion. That means we only have one equation to pick from. It's our constant velocity equation, D equals V times T. Solving for velocity, we're gonna divide time to the other side, d over t equals velocity. Our displacement is 145 meters. Our time, 0 0.55 seconds. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get that my velocity is 263.64 meters per second.